Hello, I am Lord Montague and I'd like to tell you a bit about the Bewley monorail system which is going to be 50 years old this year. In fact, I remember it being built and as a student, as one of my holiday jobs, I actually used to drive the trains. Well, the system actually hasn't changed hugely through the years but there is one thing that I've never really liked and that's the appearance of this station. This is the South Station and uh, it performs its function very well but in the middle of Palace House Gardens I think it's rather ugly and so I've made the very brave decision to have it taken down and so what you see here now the train stopping at the platform won't be happening anymore because the train in the future will do a circular ride from the North Station and uh, it will be very much a tour, an air aerial tour of the Palace House grounds and gardens. With this station gone, the garden behind will have um, a lot more light on it and um, I, I, I hope that the, the view to the Abbey will also be rather nicer. So this, the Bewley South Monorail Station, is to go but I would not wish that to happen until I have had a chance to use it one more time. Now it should be said that there are of course wonderful views of the grounds and gardens from the station but really they won't be lost because the train is at the same level so when you pass through you'll still get the same views. In fact they'll be even better because the station won't be in the way. To think that thousands and thousands of visitors have used this station and I am one of the last. But as I say, the train will continue running and in fact you'll get a much better view in the future. Thank you, Eddie. I thought it might be just nice to point out the views that you get from the station and indeed you will get in the future from the train and one of the ideas is by the way that the drivers will stop from time to time on, on the journey to point things out. So behind me here is our uh, kitchen garden. Uh, it's being February at the moment, it's not exactly in full bloom but you can see a number of things coming up there. Uh, including um, I think some kale looks like um, and beech hedge uh, of course will will be bright green in a couple of months time and then further around are the fruit cages where raspberries and red currants and other other soft fruit grow. So one of the advantages of removing this station is the garden below will uh, no longer have a very large shadow cast on it when it's sunny I would like to point out in the distance though, outside the shadow of this station, the Mad Hatter's Tea Party created in Topiary with all the main figures there. It looks as if it's just been retrimmed actually. And uh, nearer to us some, some sheep helping to keep the, the grass uh, neatly cut. I wish they did really. In the distance um, is the corner of our parkland where our big events take place, notably the two auto jumbles every year. And then going round uh, we can see the Domus of Bewley Abbey. This is one of the surviving parts of Bewley Abbey. This was in fact where the Lay Brothers slept uh, on the first floor and ate downstairs. And it's now used to house an exhibition about the Abbey and up on the first floor we have a banqueting hall which can be hired for weddings and other events. 
And so panning round, uh, I'm pleased to say that as usual at this time of year, the daffodils are coming out, not quite in full bloom yet, but you can see a lot of the ground between here and Palace House. Uh, the grass uh, has lots of daffodil and indeed crocus bulbs in it. And that really makes a, a splendid uh, uh, backdrop for Palace House, particularly in the run up to Easter. So with this station coming down, we are actually making a number of other changes to the monorail ride. Uh, the details of which I'm going to keep up my sleeve for the moment. We'll be announcing that a little later in the year. So keep watching our social media channels. Um, let me point this out to you. This is the opening of the monorail in 1974. That's my father. And for Wombles fans, you will recognise that as Wellington the naughty schoolboy Womble. They came here 50 years ago to open the system. Exactly how we mark the 50th anniversary, we're still thinking about. But watch this space.